Right, morning fellas, welcome back to another Villa on Tour video. Today, uh, we've made another signing. We have. Um, I'm outside because it's about 90 degrees, so if, if the wind's a little bit dodgy, uh, just, I'm sorry about that, not much I can do. But we've signed Matt Target. Pretty good signing. Um, uh, he's only 23 years of age, comes from Southampton obviously. I've heard a load of different things saying, different rumours about the fee, I've heard. I've heard different things about the fee. I've heard like 8 million all the way up to 17 million, but I, I believe the actual fee is about 11 uh, plus add-ons. Obviously there's gonna be add-ons based on performances like appearances, assists maybe, I'm not too sure, but around 11 million going up basically. Now let's be honest, he, he basically fits the, the Dean Smith mold. You know, Dean Smith has said himself he wants to get the average age of the squad down. Neil Taylor, our existing left back, is 30 years of age. He turned 30 this year actually. So getting in a 23 year old in Matt Target is, is standard signing really. I believe he's 24 in September. So he's got a lot of potential. He's got a lot of growth. We'll see. In terms of Target himself, as I've said, he's 23 years of age. He's from Eastleigh, which is just down the road from Southampton. So he might be a Southampton fan, but he was actually at the Southampton Academy since he was eight years old so he's been there all of his career basically he's six foot tall as well which is actually quite big for a fullback you, you normally expect like the typical fullback he might be five foot eight five foot nine you no know, bombing up and down really being really rapid but he's quite tall at six foot maybe that says he won't be as fast as maybe other players now we we'll talk about his career um, as i've already said he was there since he was eight years old at southampton and he made his professional debut for them in the first team squad just after his 18th birthday so he's been there for a while he's been around the first team squad for a while now he's also played for england under 19 under 20 and england under 21 as well so he's got international international recognition uh, a bit like courtney horse as well he played for a lot of the england youth sides but yeah as well you may remember he played for Fulham in the 17-18 season he was there for half a season from January on loan and he made quite a few appearances for them and you may remember that he played at Wembley against Villa in the playoff final now he played 90 minutes there and he was quite good I seem to remember and he stopped Villa from getting promoted which is probably one of the best things to happen to this this club in recent memory to be honest so thank you Matt Target for that fella for not allowing Villa to go up that season I appreciate that fella now as you always do when a player signs you go on their Wikipedia and you see all about their stats and stuff so I did that and it surprised me a little bit to see that he's only played 84 times. Uh, that's his only in his club career, in his whole career. 84 times isn't a lot. I know Southampton have got Ryan Bertrand, another former Villa man, who is their starting left back and he's, he's a very good player, right Bertrand. So you're going to have to be something special um, to displace him out of the side. So Matt Target maybe hasn't played as much football as I would have liked. Maybe that's due to injuries as well, I'm not too sure. But yeah, he hasn't played too much. Although he did play 21 times last season alone, so that's not too bad, I suppose. Now, I don't think any of us know loads about Matt Target so I contacted Dan from the Saints View which is a Southampton based YouTube channel and I got him to talk a little bit about Matt Target so Dan take it away mate. Hi guys at Villa on Tour my name's Dan I'm from the Saints View Max has asked me to give you guys a little bit of insight on Matt Target as he looks set to sign for Aston Villa. I think overall his Southampton career has been a bit disappointing he's been in the first team for about four seasons now and he's not really done that much to shift the place of Ryan Birch and who's been our long time first choice at that position. I think obviously he's still young, I believe 23 he is, so he's still got lots of um, time left in his career, but he's also a very experienced Premier League defender because he's, well, he's been in the Premier League for the last four seasons, so I think you're getting an experienced player who's still got a lot of raw talent and has the room for improvement, and for me I think if we'd kept him we'd start to see glimpses of better performances as he sort of develops as a player, you know, we've got a new manager in who's fantastic with the young players. And, you know, we've seen that at times this season, but I have to be honest, at times his uh, defending is pretty questionable. Um, you know, just not track. It's, it's the typical thing, you know, not following your man, not tracking back, all that sort of stuff. I mean, he's got a peach of a left foot for the crosses. So if you have a um, centre forward, I know you signed that uh, one from Bruges, I think it was, um, who's physical and can sort of have a bullet header, he will put those crosses in and get you um, a couple of extra goals with his uh, assists. So overall, I think he's a good signing. 14 million, I do think you're overpaying, but it's probably not about what you're paying for now. It's probably what you might have in the next two, three seasons, especially if you can stay up this season and sort of stay in the Premier League for the next couple of seasons to come. So thanks, guys. Uh, I'm from the Saints View, like I said, so if you could subscribe, I'd be really appreciated. And yeah, hope you enjoy Matt Target. Yes, that was Dan from the Saints View. If there's any Southampton fans watching this that aren't already subscribed to him, go and do that. A lot of decent Southampton content. Um, so yeah, he seems to say that he's very good going forward. Maybe going back, he's not fantastic. Um, 
which contrasts a little bit with Neil Taylor because Neil Taylor's the standard solid left back. He's not fantastic going forward, but he is quite uh, quite good defensively. So Matt Target contrasts this as he's kind of the opposite, good going forward. So I think it, it, it suits Dean Smith. Um, obviously, Neil Taylor was Steve Bruce's signing, but defensively, he's not amazing. But Dean Smith is a fantastic coach. Obviously, John Terry's there as well. So they could easily, you know, coach him to be better defensively. But I think attacking wise I don't think he's going to need that much coaching because going forward by what I've seen and what I've heard he's very very good I think his left foot is amazing swinging and crosses he gets a lot of assists and obviously we saw on Wesley as well big six foot three striker so if we can get Matt Target swinging in balls to Wesley heading them in I think that's a recipe for success in my eyes linking up on the left hand side with Anwar El Ghazi I think that's that's very very exciting um El Ghazi I think is is very good as well. He's quite a big lad as well, El Ghazi, six foot plus, I believe, as well as Target. But I think El Ghazi is quite good defensively. Obviously, he's amazing going forward as well. But he's quite good tracking back, El Ghazi, better than the likes of Kodja, um, Green to an extent. So I think those two do kind of complement each other. I think it remains to be seen. Obviously, we need to just wait and see what happens. Obviously, we can't jump the gun at all. But I think on paper it looks good. It really does. But yeah, overall, I think I think it's a very simple signing. I think the fee's decent as well. Um, I think we've been interested in Target for. Uh, I've seen loads of things in the past. I think us interested in, in Target. I think Liverpool were interested in him a while ago as well. Fulham wanted to sign him after their uh, after they had him on loan. But I think they signed Joe Bryan instead. So. You know, I think I think we've done well. I think it suits both parties. Obviously, we've, I've touched on Bircher and they're not going to shift him out the side. So I think it suits both parties. Southampton going in for Che Adams as well. <sighs> Have we funded that? Have we? Uh, you couldn't write it, could you? But yeah, I think it suits both parties. I think it's a good sign in. I think we needed a left back. I don't think in the in the last few weeks we haven't. There's been too much talk of a left back, but I think we did need one. I, I didn't think Neil Taylor was going to be a, a Premier League suited left back. So I think I think it's a good signing for a good fee. I'm happy with it overall. But yeah, leave your thoughts in the comments section. I'll be interested to see what you guys think of the new Matt Target signing. Do let me know. If you have enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Go and subscribe to Dan over at the Saints View as well. And yeah, thank you very much for watching. Up the Villa and up the Matt Target. Come on, the boys.